game, and I think it was called like Critical Adventure, Critical Strike. This is a remake of it called Countless Worlds. Uh, and the world of Manchuria. So. Okay, we're we have stick as a weapon. Uh, I'm level 23. No, I'm not. I have a stick as a weapon. I'm not level 23. This is a weird loading loading thing. It really puts on the loading. Actually, only played this game for a bit, just to test out how good it was. I'm gonna put my stats in the damage for now, and when I get the 10 in damage, I'll get the 10 on health. And we'll kind of shift back and forth on that. Uh, so I have a stick. I know how to play this game. So I kind of played it without any, without any viewers just for a tiny bit. So, well, actually, I was streaming it, but no one joined, so. Anyway, so you can kind of fight small bees. I heard about this strategy, but it's kind of hard. It's how you easily get, get good. Um, probably gonna do that. It's not like cheating or anything, it's, but it's very risky. You fail, then you just kind of die. Not in real life, but like the game. Candy bags. Candy is for buffs because you have to, I, you have to be level 35 to fight the pumpkin king. I know that because. I actually have tried to fight it several times, but I've never won on my real count. If any of you are level 40 and view this stream, um, tell me if you want to try and fight it with my main. Because I do pretty good. Uh, Candy Corn is also for uh, attack boosts, and the, and the Halloween candy is for speed boosts. Now I'm going to go to equipment and I'm going to buy what I need. Please buy my stuff. Yes, I will. Buying three of those just to prepare. Open that. And then you drag that. So the way you equip stuff is like if this was a weapon, the banana, I would drag it right here. If this was an equipment that gave me stats, I would drag it right here. But since this is a healing item, I drag it right here. I'm not going to do that because I have to eat it for it to get off my hot bar. So switch out with something else. But I don't really have something else. Okay. Oh. The place I'm going is like level 10s and 9s. And there's a wasp area down here. I know there's a hornet area in the wasp area. But I'm not going to go there until I get really good. Because the hornets are really strong. It's like fighting a, the pumpkin king. Except it's easier. It's way easier. I can barely see in here. Mine. So the strategy is you get like twelve coal and three three um gold. I know you get three from mining uh, mining uh any ore. You get three of items, so I just need to go mine the gold. But I can't see. So I just gotta hope for the best that I don't die. It is like a secret strategy to get uh, really good gold armor at the beginning. You're not armored weapon. I can switch out for this crappy stick. Then the real adventure begins because you can actually fight. Good. Good fight. Oh yeah, came back to level nine. I wonder if I could defeat one, even though I'm not that okay, good. Wait. Oh no, they switched it. Get two ores now from one. I wonder if you need the uh, golem pickaxe. You don't know how to get the golem pickaxe. You use know, boats. You travel to an island and there will be a golem on it. You can use that. And if you find a magical rarity, uh, it's like inside goopy parts. You find it's like inside inside of it. Um. Well, then you can use it to craft a uh, pickaxe. With a bunch of, with like 40 stone, a bunch of gold ore, and a bunch of iron ore. 
Iron ore is less good, better than gold in this game, so I'm just gonna leave that alone since there's iron ore like back here. So I already know what weapons I'm gonna want. Uh, at the start, I probably would want to try and get um, what was it? Flip, forgot. I probably want to try and get a crab plating because those are that's a good weapon. I can't play the Crab King just yet because I still took some damage from it at level 40. Like, there's not that much defense items I have. Also, this coal won't mine. Mine, coal, mine. So, as soon as I mine one more coal thing, I go put the diamond, three of the diamonds in the oven. Then I put all the coal. Wow, oh, yay, we're done! And then when that heats up, I'll just go some bees while it takes forever to heat up and then the real adventure will start because why not wait i just want to play until i drop so it should take maybe eight 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 doses of what's it called coal it depends how long mining gold is this game is new, so there's not that many people that play it. Well, it's not really new, but not many people play it, so. If you wonder. So, pretty new. Not that. So, if you see any, like, bugs. Like that weird loading bug. That's only because it means. Not, not, not really new. Okay, I just need 8, and I got 10, so I just need to make sure this is 2. There we go. Now I'm gonna go. Gary's crafting, and there's this dude. You talk to him, and he can give you a boat for like a thousand dollars. Well, you can buy one. But if you just, but this is a cool glitch. Or if you just click, can you get the speedboat back here? Instead of having to buy one for a thousand dollars, you can just bring a boat the back for, for a hundred. It's a cool glitch that I found. Also saves a lot of money. But I wasted all my money in my last game. Wait, 30, 60, 90. Why does it still take me so long to swim out?